Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this lesson, you will learn about volume integral. Okay, volume integral refers to an integral over a three-dimensional domain. Okay, line integral involve single integration, while surface integral surface integral involve double integral. For volume integral, it is involved triple integral. Okay, so this is the formula for volume integral. We have triple integration over v. F f is the okay. F is the scalar function. Okay, this one is actually this one is dv. Okay, dv depends on your figure or your uh, graph. Okay, these are the steps to find volume integral. First, sketch the graph. Okay, and then determine the solution using Cartesian coordinate, x, y, z or polar coordinate. So, if um, the figure is cuboid or box, you will use Cartesian coordinate, x, y, z. But for cylinder, parabola and also sphere, you must change to polar coordinate. So, okay, for Cartesian coordinate, dv is given by this uh, uh, equation, dx, dy and dz. Okay, and for cylinder or paraboloid, dv is given by this formula, r, dr, d theta, dz. When for, okay, for sphere, dv is given by this formula. We have r square sine theta, dr, d theta, dv. And then after that, uh, step number three, determine the limit. Okay, and step uh, last one, solve the integration. So for volume integral, it is very important that you um, you know how to determine the limit for integration. Okay, so uh, let's look at how to determine the limit based on the uh, graph or, or figure. So this one is cylinder. Okay. Alright, for cylinder, dv is given by this model. So, dv, okay, you change to r dr d theta dz. Okay, to determine the limit, okay, first, this, uh, the first limit refer to dr, okay, r, limit for r. And the second one is limit for theta. And this one is limit for z. Okay, so you must find limit for r, theta, and also z. So here in this figure, r, r, okay, the radius is from 0 to square root 12. Okay, that's why r is from 0 to square root 12. Okay, theta, theta is actually the angle uh, at xy plane. So the angle is 360 degree or 2pi. So, theta is from 0, start from x axis, 0 to 2 pi. Okay, for z, okay, z is from 0 to 6. Okay, so substitute the limit in, uh, in the formula. Okay, figure number 2, we have box like this, where x is from... 0 to 2, y is from 0 to 3, and z is from 0 to 5. Okay, for this figure, dv here, dy and dz. Let's know that we can change this dx, dy, dz. Okay, you can change to dy, dx, dz. But the limit here, you must also change. Okay, so for dy, dy here, the limit is from y is 0 to 3. So, start from 0 to 3. Okay, and so on. Okay, figure number 3 is, okay, this, this is paraboloid. All 
Okay, for paraboloid, dv equal to this one. Polo, cylindrical, polar coordinate. We have dv equal to r dr d theta dz. And then determine the limit. Okay, for r, theta and also z. Okay, for r, okay, radius. Radius equal to 2. Okay, because we know that this, this is uh, x square plus y square equal to 4. Okay, because z equal to 4. And that's why we get this is equation for circle. So, r equal to 2. So, the radius is from 0 to 2. Okay, for theta, okay, we from 0 to 360 degree. Okay, so, to pi. Okay, for the, lo the lower limit for z is from here to here. So, the limit is from this uh, curve to uh, z equal to 4. So, this curve, z equal to x square plus y square. That's why the lower limit is x square plus y square to 4. Okay, x square plus y square is actually r square. Okay, limit for z is from r square to 4. Okay, but but you must rearrange this, this formula because okay, if not, the final answer will be in in term of r. Okay, we don't want that. So okay, just put the z in front. So you will get the z here. So the limit also change. Okay, r square to uh, four, and the rest. For figure 4, we have this surface. This figure we use Cartesian coordinate. So, equal to dx, dy and dz. Okay, let's determine the limit for x, y and z. Okay, for x, x is from 0 to 2. Y is from 0 to 2. Okay, z. Z is from 0 0 to this this curve ok so this curve given by okay, z equal to 4 minus x square so that's why z is from 0 to 4 minus x square ok then you then we have this uh, from uh, then we have this equation ok or you can put if you want if, if you want to put dx in front so limit for x here x here is from 0 to this curve ok this is given by this formula and you rearrange we want x so x equal to just rearrange this formula we we'll get z equal to square root 4 minus z x equal to uh, square root 4 minus z so that's why the limit for x here from 0 to okay from 0 to this one square root 4 minus z z is from 0 to 3 and y is from 0 to 2 0 to 2 okay look at example 1 evaluate this volume integral where F is given by this formula 2x plus y plus xz and v is a box bounded by k bounded by this limit so x is from 0 to 2 so sketch x 0 to 2 and then y is from 0 to 3 here 3 z is from 0 to 5 so here 5 and then you uh, just connect the line then we have box here yeah. Okay, so for box used, we will use Cartesian coordinate x, y, and z. So dv uh, is equal to dx, dy, and dz. Okay, for full figure like this, it okay, it is easy to determine the limit. First, you substitute f here. F from the question, we have 2x plus y plus x, x, z. And then, after that, you, de you determine the limit. So, the limit for x here is from 0 to 2. So, 0 to 2. Okay, for y, 
0 to 3. Okay, 0 to 3 for z. z 0 to 5. Okay, and then just uh, after that, you integrate to x. Okay, the first one here. The, okay, you integrate to x. We get this answer. And then after that, integrate to y. Here, y. Okay, after you get the answer, integrate to z fi final. Uh, final integration. Okay, and, and then you will get 180. Okay, for example, to okay, evaluate the, the uh, volume integral for okay for when v is a closed region bounded by paraboloid okay okay this is paraboloid at the plane z equal to zero so when you refer here the z intersect is equal to four so we have four here and then the the radius at at x y axis equal to two okay this one x square plus y square equal to 4 so r equal to square root 4 equal to 2 yeah 2 so since this uh, figure is paraboloid and you must you must change the you must change f to polar coordinate okay so substitute x here okay for uh, for paraboloid we follow cylindrical polar coordinate so x equal to r cos theta. So substitute x here r cos theta plus one. Okay. The, and then step number three. Okay, determine the limit okay, based on your graph. So here we want to determine the limit for r theta and also z. So based based on this graph, r. Okay, r is from 0 to 2. Okay, that's why we have this uh, limit. 0 to 2. Theta. Theta is from 0 to 2 pi. 360 degree. Okay, z. Z here. Okay, from 0 to this curve. Okay, where this curve is given by this equation. 4 minus x square minus y square. Okay, so the, the limit is from 0 to this formula. And and we can simplify uh, this one because uh, x square plus y square equal to r square. Okay, so z equal to here. At here, z equal to 4 minus r square. Okay, then substitute all the limit uh, in the formula. This step, you must rearrange. Okay, here we have z uh, last one, but here z is in the uh, in the form of r. Okay, we don't want that. So rearrange to so put z in front. So integrate z first, and then after that integrate to r. First z, and then second r, and last one to theta. Okay, then finally you will get this eight pi. Okay, for example 3, okay, evaluate volume integral where V is a surface of x square plus y square plus z square equal to 9. So, this is equation for sphere. Okay, sphere and bounded by y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So, this is the figure. Okay, for sphere, you must change to polar coordinate. So, x, x is given by this formula, z is given by this formula. Then, substitute here. Okay, dv, you will use dv, uh, you will use dv equal to this formula. Okay, substitute in dv here. r square sine theta, dr theta, dv. Okay, and then determine the limit. Okay, first, we want to determine the limit for r. So, R is from 0 to 3. Okay. Theta. Theta is the... Theta is 
the angle from x axis uh, from the radius okay radius to y axis so theta is from 0 to pi over 2 okay okay this is 90 degree and then phi phi is from 0 to is from 0 to pi okay 180 degree okay and then accept the, all the limit in okay in the formula and then you integrate to r and then integrate to theta and last one integrate to phi here okay so that's all for today thank you